Natural gas is an important source of energy. It currently accounts for 23% of the world's energy consumption and it is estimated that by 2035, global demand for natural gas would have risen to 44%. To satisfy world energy demands, Nigeria LNG Limited produces and exports 22 million tons of LNG per annum. And the journey starts here. From her two export jetties, 24 ships take Nigeria LNG's products to various parts of the world, each vessel carrying enough gas to heat 3 million homes for up to five days. Well, the jetty, like you know, is the point through which we export all our cargoes. LNG, LPG and condensate. So it's the last point at which the products leave the plant and enter the ship that carry them to our customers. Um, we have two jetties, Jetty 1 and Jetty 2. Each of the jetties uh, is equipped with what we call loading arms. Those are the ro robotic looking arms through which the products flow into the ships. The loading arms transport the product from the storage tanks into the transporting vessels for export. Jetty 1 of Nigeria LNG's two jetties has four loading arms for LNG and three loading arms for condensate. To ensure that key elements within the chain operate at optimum capacity, the Production Engineering Maintenance PEM team of Nigeria LNG embarked on a major asset rejuvenation exercise on Jetty 1 otherwise known as Jetty One Facilities Revamp. The team spent three months preparing and planning for this revamp operation. The plan was to restore Jetty export capacity to 100% and to ensure that Nigeria LNG continues to deliver LNG and condensate to buyers safely and reliably. Normally, this sort of equipment uh, will need to be uh, revamped, refurbished, rejuvenated every plus minus 10 years. Uh, so, JT1 is due for its major uh, refurbishment. And that work involves uh, basically taking out the loading arms one after the other, bringing them to the workshop, stripping them down to their very uh, basic components. Uh, replacing the components that have been uh, have uh, passed their useful life and recoupling and rebuilding the, the loading um, and taking them back again to the jetty and reinstalling them. So it's a very involved uh, work and has to be done while we are still producing and shipping cargoes. This project actually can be done in a shorter time. But to do that, you will have to shut down the old jetty and that will literally paralyze the old uh, operation here. We don't want that to happen. And so we have uh, 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 adopted a strategy that allows us to continue with operations and yet do a major overhaul. The team also had to utilize the limited jetty windows, days when ships are not loading, to ensure that the job was done and complete it safely and to the right quality by a highly professional team consisting Nigeria LNG staff and various contractors. The project execution was planned in two phases. At the workshop area we have a series of activities to do which involves removing pieces and pieces of the loading arm and the whole pieces will be sent to uh, across for some blasting and painting. Then we'll all bring it back here and then we will start to reassemble back. We have placed orders for all the materials we needed to refurbish all the loading arms. And those materials will be available around about July, August. That will be the beginning of phase two. And then all the parts will be installed on the loading arms and then we will install them back and then we go to the next arm on and on until end of April 2013. So it's like a one-year project, phase one and two. At the end of this operation, the LNG loading arms should optimally function for another 10 to 15 years to ensure successful delivery of products to the buyers.
we take asset integrity seriously. We also uh, take seriously the contracts we have with our customers. Uh, we take uh, reliability of our systems very important. So we will normally continue not only to invest in uh, our production uh, facilities, but we also invest in maintaining them to the highest possible standards to make sure that we maintain the high level of uh, reliability in, uh, in operation and the high quality of our assets. As natural gas steadily becomes the world's number one energy source, Nigeria LNG has continued to restate her resolve to stay in business and consolidate her position as one of the world's leading suppliers of liquefied natural gas.